This is how Peter Rabbit is seen today, a much-loved programme on CBBS. And this is where his story was first written down, Eastwood House in Dunkeld. I like to think that this was, the, this was perhaps where she was when she was sitting writing this story. On one holiday in 1893, two of her stories came to life. We know that because the, the name of the house and the day and the date were put at the top of the letters. The letters were sent to the small son of Beatrice's governess. He was unwell, so she sat down to write him a, a little note and thought, well, I'll write you a little story. And this was the story of Peter Rabbit. And I believe that the following day, feeling a little bit guilty that she'd written a nice little story for Noel, she wrote another story for his brother, uh, which was the tale of Jeremy Fisher. Here at Burnham Arts, the focus is not just on the stories, but the signs of the world around us, which fascinated Beatrix Potter. When she came here from, as a child, she was coming from London, and she came to this beautiful place and was so impressed with, it, with her environment, it took her on another journey, which was nature, and the environment, and she became very interested in fungi and animals and birds. 150 years on, the stories still captivate, her scientific drawings still impress. Happy birthday, Beatrix Potter. Elizabeth Quigley, Reporting Scotland, Burnham. <laughs>